Hello everybody back at home. Um, it's September 13th, two days before High Buck opener. Pouring rain, thunder and lightning the whole time. Pretty wild and uh, I'm solo. Pretty weird feeling being solo. Um, don't know if I like it yet, but uh, yeah. Here we are. Um, I'm gonna make some dinner and then try and go to bed early. But, uh, yeah. See what tomorrow brings. Hopefully, get to the top tomorrow. Um, it's when it gets real. So. So, we're about halfway here at the river, river spot, and I'm making some maple brown sugar oatmeal, and I am stoked about this. Got the oatmeal packets, just mix it up real good, nice, oh yeah. Also for breakfast this morning, we have the Mountain Ops Immune little packet. Mountain Ups Electrolyte, fresh lemon lime. And then I'm gonna make a mixed drink, the Mountain Ups Enduro. And this one's pink lemonade. And then, right before I leave, I'm gonna have a honey stinger with some Justin's chocolate hazelnut and almond butter. We're eating good up here. Just saying, I can't complain. The only, only sucky part is there's a lot more up. It's been pretty gradual, but the next part, it's steep. So, recharge the batteries, fill up my water, eat some breakfast, and get chugging, but we're making great time. I'm real happy with what time we're making, so. Good evening everybody. It's uh, September 14th. I made it. I made it to the top. It took me all day. Um, here I am. I'm glassing it up with the 12 by 50s. I got two does spotted. Uh, and I jumped a buck coming up. I couldn't tell if he was legal, but he was at least a fork, so he definitely could have had an eye guard. But uh, I actually ran into some, <laughs> ran into some guys. That live in the same town I do, so we're we're get to share camp tonight. We're me and the me and him are gonna go hunt tomorrow together, and then he's got some buddies coming up, and then Brady's coming up. But uh, I think we're gonna sort of hang camp together, see how it goes. As you can tell, it's very very cold. Um, he's got a fire going back at camp, so I think I'm gonna go sit by. Can't seem to turn up more than just those two does, so maybe there's buck with them. Who knows? Yeah, I made it up. As soon as I made it to the top, I, I saw him and it started pouring. So he invited me over if I wanted to set tent camp there, and he also said um, he's got a wood stove, so I got to sit by the wood stove. It was awesome. Those things were sweet. But 
Yeah, I'm going to see if I can turn anything up just a little bit more. Tomorrow's opening day. It's going to be awesome. I'm super pumped. And uh, hopefully me and Parker will go put a stock on two big old bucks and pack them out tomorrow. So that's the update. Yeah. I'm going to go down, eat some food, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Here we go. High buck 2022. Let's go. here um, I'm on like the side of this giant rock hill having a nice fire because uh, it's cold but I got a sweet little sniper basin like a rock that I'm sitting on and I'm hoping that maybe some deer will work their way up higher and uh, run right into me it's a cool little hidden field and I can see three other hunters back over to where we're camped no deer yet um it's a beautiful opening day it's perfect hunting weather overcast so i'm hoping they'll be moving all day long and we can catch one slipping yeah i'm gonna enjoy this fire I might grab a little bit a bite to eat and then uh yeah that's game plan Parker's just below me. I just talked to him. He was texted. And he's got two bucks below him. One's a spike. The other one is a, a two point. So we're gonna... I'm gonna go to the ridge to the west of him. So we can look at each other. And then they're 700 yards below him. Now I'm gonna see if I can get eyes... I would put money that there's another buck with him. And fingers crossed he's legal. So let's go see. Still no action. Um, there's so many people up here, it's ridiculous. Alright, 
this daybreak. Um, the bowl that I'm watching is pretty. It's dark still. Um, beautiful morning again, nice and still. A little bit of breeze, which is good. It's in my face, so it's perfect. But, uh, yeah. Time to get to glassing. I'm feeling really good today. Brady's coming up today. I'm really excited to see him, finally. Maybe we can make it happen. Well, I made it on the trail. I ended up leaving probably 6, 6.15, so I'm all way up. It's a beautiful morning. I'm gonna spot some deer. Do it. Sort of in a nice spot where if someone shoots down below me, it'll push the deer up here. And if someone comes along the ridge, it'll push the deer into this uh, bowl that I'm watching. If they if there's any deer down there. We'll see. I'm gonna get to spot some bucks. Didn't end up buying a pad, so I got lucky and found one up here. Had a few bugs in it, a few rips, but it's okay. Um, got everything here. I'm getting, refilling water. Gotta refill my bladder, and then up to the top of that I go. Nothing better when you're really cold. Get a nice fire. I was starting to lose feeling in my fingers, so I decided it was time. Don't eat that. Struggling a little bit this trip. Um, I know hunting's all about the highs and the lows, but ever since I got up here, it just did, it felt weird. I felt weird. Um, I still don't feel 100%. I felt 100% this morning, but now I feel, eh. you know, I've been mostly solo. This is somewhere where you shouldn't be bumping shoulders with people nonstop. And that's what I've been doing. And, uh, I don't know. It just can get really frustrating and, uh, getting lonely up here. This is a tough hunt. Tough, tough hunt. Brady should be up here in a few hours, so I'm really, really, really excited for that. I walked over the ridge and uh, looked over the backside. I saw some hunters about like three miles away. I could see the orange, it was crazy. Uh, and didn't see anything move. But Brady's still a few hours out. Um, I don't know how he's doing. Well, it sounds like he's actually doing good, but... And that's some big poop, all right. Hello, guy. Going still good. Weather's nice, it's a little breezy, but... Just waiting for that big old buck to step out. Things just got good. Brady's at the base of the hill and he jumped a buck. So I'm gonna haul ass back and help him hopefully find the buck. He also dropped his pack. So now he's gonna need help finding his pack. So keep you posted. I just took two shots at a three by two and I'm almost certain I missed. I was like 50 yards away. And I missed twice. Here's his tracks. There's 
one. It was a wide three by two. I shot at him, he was right here, and I was kind of up here, and he ran down, but there's no blood. Oh, that sucks. Everything's running to me. Reunited. Yeah. Here's a squad. <laughs> <laughs> it's four o'clock, right? Four o'clock, yeah. Yeah, four o'clock, yeah. Watch is dead. It's, I think it's four o'clock. We're going on an afternoon hunt and we're finally together, so. A real fun. We're gonna go kill something, so. See ya. Me and Brady were glassing, and Brady spotted three deer, two does, and one spike. This one spike, he's a two by one. If you had one more point, he'd be illegal. <laughs> They're 340 yards away, but uh, <laughs> good spot by that guy up there. Um, yeah, so there was a guy to our left in the same basin that shot three times. And then we watched him walk out. So we're assuming he missed. And then these deer came running from where he shot from. So I don't know. Um, hoping a big boy walks out. And then we'll hike down there and pull an all-nighter. Right? Yep. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, little shout out to Vortex. I just dropped these 30 feet down a cliff. And they rolled. Um, they still work and the glass is not cracked somehow and they still work so <laughs> these 12 by 50s are like the most valuable piece of equipment I have right now and I almost just dropped them down like 300 feet down good to see deer Two were of the male variety, just not big enough. Burr, 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 burr. It's blowing really hard. It's really cold. We're gonna start walking. Well, that got exciting. Um, we were taking turns tending to the fire because it, cause it's so dang cold. And I get down and uh, I spot two bucks. And they were, they were sparring, like they were fighting. Um, it was pretty awesome. And I think we were able to put three on one of them, but just barely. Like, I think he had, yeah, I think he was legal. It was a small fork, but I think it was an inch. So, he's legal. He's over 300 yards away right now. But also he went behind some thick stuff and um, we lost him. So, I guess all we can do is hope that they come up to bed and then maybe we can get a shot on them.
2 o'clock. Um, we had a little disappointing mishap with that deer. Don't know what made it. I think it hurt us for some reason. Don't know how. Because I was definitely being louder before I spotted it. Got up and walked away. Um, we haven't been able to find it since. But we have made a little crib. It's pretty awesome. Here's the main living area. It's a nice fire wood stove ready to go. Our firewood stash. These are the glassing rocks right there. That's a seat. And this is a seat. That's where I put all my glassing stuff. And then my pack rifle and extra clothes is over there. So. That's all for this episode of MP MTV Cribs. We'll catch you guys next time. Well, it was super slow tonight. Didn't see a single thing, just saw that forky again. That was about the extent of today. We sat here for 14 hours. How was your experience? My fingers are frozen. Yep. All right, <sighs> we're gonna go back to camp and then uh, we'll hunt if, uh, hard in the morning and then Brady's gotta leave. It is uh, Sunday, September 18th. Been hunting hard. Had a chance yesterday and we I, I blew it. Sort of slow this morning. There's a doe beneath us right now. Sadly, Brady has to leave today. Um, he forgot his food back at camp, so he had to go run back to camp and go get his breakfast. <laughs> and then around uh, 11 o'clock, he's going to be leaving here. And then back down. I would go with him, but uh, I'm I'm just I'm too far committed now. I gotta finish until I run out of food. So that's either gonna be Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not sure yet. But final goodbyes to the camera. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm heading out today. Um, with nothing on my back. But well, I mean, it's not the end yet. Exactly. If I see a grouse closer to the truck, I'm gonna blast it with my 308. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm probably at my lowest point right now. I'm really struggling. Getting my ass kicked. I'm just done. Hitting a wall. doing some more glassing believe it or not um that wraps up about today i don't know what day it is so that wraps up day whatever it is um another slow one didn't see a buck today um saw some cool new land though that i'm gonna go check out brady made it back safely um it's always good to hear and uh it's gonna be a fun little adventure when we get out of here um, I'm going to go a new route. So it's going to be an interesting day tomorrow. We're going to see how it goes. I'm looking forward to it. Um, tomorrow is our last full day to get it done. So uh, I'm going to try my best. <sighs> I'm feeling motivated. I really want to get this done. really want to get it done. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, that's all for tonight. And I'll uh, talk to you guys in the morning.
So his right. Yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't like whatever it is. Alright, I got a boat. Hold up, watch the right again. Or you watch the right, I'll watch. I got the bucks. Be on their own. Watch the bucks. I'm looking to the right. The base of the ridge. Be on their level. Oh, back one's nicer. Why? Yeah, they're they're coming this way. <sighs> yeah, dude. Oh God, Look at that. Holy shit. No, this is the wide one. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> He's huge, dude. He looks so small. Oh my God. Yes! Hell yeah! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Dude! Yes! Look at that, you lunged him. You lunged yeah, out yeah. of him. Yes! Oh <sighs> yeah, boy! Hell yeah! Hell Congratulations, yeah, Dude! Yeah, super high buck, you got one Hell yeah! Skaters. We yeah, gotta go find him. So his went, okay, directly from here, right in line with yeah. this evergreen, straight that way. Yeah. About, probably even with us, straight across. Okay. He did go uphill a little bit, and then he went. Okay. No way. No way. Are you kidding me? Hell yeah, what dude! Fuck? Hell yeah! Congratulations, dude! Hell yeah! Here, get your hands on it, dude! Dude! Oh my oh, god! Oh yeah, you oh. nailed him! Oh, dude! I just, I just remember looking over. They're and huge, dude. These are him, big. Here. I see him run down into the flat. Oh, dude, that's a nice spot. Yes. Oh, good forks. Oh, Jesus. oh yeah! Perfect, perfect shot. shot, dude! Perfect, perfect shot. shot. Oh yeah, dude! Hell yeah! It happens that quick. I told. I I'm, dude, I'm in disbelief right now. Two deer down, baby. <laughs> oh my God. We're going out tomorrow, boys. Hell oh, yeah. I'm so ready to go home. Hey. Me and Peter doubled up 
on two freaking Washington State high buck mule deer. Freaking way up here. <sighs> this is one of the best days of my life. We spotted them. Peter spotted one at first light, which I think is the one that I shot. Um, <clears throat> and they started moving to the left, like towards us and down. So we couldn't couldn't find them. So then we went closer to where we thought they were, dropped down into some real, I mean, it's all matchstick trees. We were up there. We were very quiet. And then we had a Parker, our third, who tagged out on a bear. He came and he was glassing and he called us like, hey, they're literally right below you. They're a hundred yards below you. And we're like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So we're sitting there trying to find them. It's so thick, we can't find them. And then uh, finally they pop out Peter got the first shot because he spotted it. There was two of them. Um, it was two legal bucks and one spike. And they moved down the basin and we, f we finally relocated them. Got a shot, Peter shot at like 100 yards, I think on the first one, put three rounds in his buck, drilled him. And then he's like, here, where are these? Right here, he's right here, the other one. So then I'm up and then he starts running. And then I go move back over to this down log and like rest on this perfect down log. And, uh, I'm on the, I'm resting on this perfect down log and then I see the buck running and I'm following him through the trees, following him and then he finally gets to a clearing and he stops and does the perfect mule deer turn and look and I just freaking hammer him and I think it was like 250 yards or something like that and one shot and he just started doing the death run down the hill, freaking sprinting and then he tripped over a log and just started doing somersaults and we're like, oh my gosh, we got him and we went down, found Pete's, Pete's deer, came over here found my deer and we freaking doubled up on the high buck hunt <laughs> oh my gosh incredible but here we go um that's what we signed up for high buck 2021 2022 <sighs> this is incredible
this hunt was uh, really something special to me. Um, it's worked so hard physically, mentally, um, and it really was just a point, really just a matter of perspective. Looking at a basin from a different direction and you'll see a deer, or mentally, you're having a hard time and it's just a matter of how you think of it. It's your perspective on the hunt. And that's what got me through this hunt and led us to being successful. I couldn't be more happy with the group of guys I got to do this with. Um, we did. We came up here not planning to hunt together, didn't even know that we were gonna be up Hell here. Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> Hell yeah! Congratulations, dude! That's how it worked out, and I couldn't be more happy with the friendships I've uh, made and uh, relationships I've created up here chasing high country mule deer with some of the best guys around. Um, super thankful for this experience and that I have the ability to come do this and uh, that I was able, I was blessed enough to harvest such a beautiful animal that's going to provide for me and my family for uh, hopefully the next year. And the season's just getting started too. Got the whole rest of hunting season. Um, stoked how this went and uh, this was a hunt that will be engraved in my mind for as long as I live. This, uh, this hunt changed my life, and uh, really, it's all about perspective, and uh, how you see and persevere and keep working hard. And uh, we did all the right things, and here we are. So, couldn't be more stoked how this went. Life is good, man. Life is good.